Sam Darnold is being uh, is being uh, uh, tire kicked by the Broncos today, sitting there at five. And then the Patriots, as you know, have two first round selections. Suss out. I would be shocked if the Patriots moved up into the into the area of the top four quarterbacks. I, Rich, how can they do that? They need a left tackle. They need they need to rebuild this team right now, and they can't take all of their draft capital and move up to whatever it is. I mean, think about it. It's probably not even sensible for the Giants to take three ones to go down to number twelve. Right. Think about it. Yeah, they so, they need to restock too. So then, yeah, what? Do you, so how are the Patriots going to move way up? So then, suss out the trade market. Is it really just the bill? I mean, because the Broncos are sitting there at five. Again, if it the name, if if the first the name, if the first name that comes out of uh, Roger Goodell's mouth in twenty days is Josh Allen, then the Giants' phone, uh, Dave Gettleman's phone line is white hot to the touch at that point I in time. I agree. Right. I totally agree. So we'll see if they do anything. My gut feeling is they would take Sam Darnold at number two. And then the Jets would take Mayfield or Rosen at number three. But those are all guesses. Let me just say one other thing, Rich. Yep. How can there be a trade up in there? There will be a trade, I believe, either with Miami or Buffalo. If if when Indianapolis picks at number six. Now, Chris Ballard, I believe, would love to go down a few spots so that one of his top four or five picks, all non-quarterbacks, would still be available and he can pick up another, say, second and maybe a four to move down to the range of 11 or 12. I think if the Colts could do that, they would. Last one for you, Peter. What, what happened? Where did RG3 come from? How did that come on the radar screen? I have no idea. I didn't even know he was under consideration. He's one of those guys who was so far under the radar in it. And in my opinion, in my opinion, this is one of those deals that the Baltimore Ravens should quite literally put this guy on their roster, maybe as a three, but maybe a two, and just keep him for the year, get him back into football shape, get him back into a good foot, into a good quarterback room, you know, with Flacco, and basically see what you've got at the end of this year entering into 2019. If I were them, that's how I'd do it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.